you would like to help support the channel, check out our links on our homepage. You can subscribe and follow our Instagram for all the latest channel going on. Or click on our coffee link to make a donation. You can also click on our Goblin Gaming Affiliates link. They sell Games Workshop, gaming mats, terrain, accessories and many more items. And of course, Adeptus Titanicus, all at discounted rates. Anything you buy, using the link, the channel gets a little in return. Thanks very much and enjoy the show. Welcome Princeps to SOP and in this video I'm going to look at the open engine war cards. Okay Princeps, so I've got these, um, apparently not everyone has due to it being a limited release which is a bit sucky really because from what I'm told they're quite good so as far as I've got is just taking the plastic off the front so I thought I'd um, video the whole thing and see what they're all about so um, let's take a look inside. So you get a ton of cards, um, the first one on the top there is the how to use card which is useful and then apparently you get 9 deployment maps, 6 primary objectives, 12 secondary objectives and 10 planetary effects as well as 12 battlefield effects. So that seems pretty good. Uh, let's have a closer look at the uh, how to use. Okay, card draw. Divide the cards into separate decks. Deployment maps, primary objectives, secondary objectives, planetary effects and battlefield effects. Shuffle each pile and draw a single card from the deployment maps, primary objectives, planetary effects and battlefield effects. Each player then draws two secondary objective cards and chooses one of the two as their own. Alright, so let's do that then. Uh, one of those. Okay, so we've drawn our cards. What sort of game have we got? So starting with deployment maps. Ah, classic lines of battle, except on this one it appears it's got an 8 inch deployment instead of 6, which is in the book. Uh, deployment map detail where players deploy their battle groups on the battlefield. Players roll off to determine who has control of the battlefield, with this player choosing one of the two shaded deployment zones to be their deployment zone. Each deployment map has a portion of the battlefield's edge highlighted in blue or green, which represents the player's respective battlefield edge. Whichever player controls the deployment zone also controls the adjacent board edge. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, primary objectives. So this one is seize and hold. Primary objectives. Primary objective cards detail the victory condition for the game. Before battle groups are deployed, place any objective tokens as detailed on the primary objective card. Objective tokens should be represented by a token or base 32mm in diameter. So that's going to be a mix of uh, take and hold style games I imagine. And that's for both players are competing for that one. Uh, secondary objective cards. So you draw two of those. Preserve the past and make them suffer. And then I get rid of one of those and pick which one I like the most. Secondary objective cards represent the individual goals of each battle group. Both players reveal their secondary objectives at the same time. Some secondary objectives require a player to note down a unit or objective in secret. In these instances, the secondary objective is revealed but not the specific target. And then we've got planetary cards and battlefield effects. And I imagine these can be totally optional if you really want, but they add a bit of fun and depth to your game. So planetary effects, this is an arid world. Uh, planetary cards represent the diversity of worlds throughout the galaxy and the unique challenges they present. Some planetary cards affect the way terrain is deployed. So a planetary card should be drawn before the battlefield is set up. Okay, I mean in our reps, We've got loads of different mats, so we can actually pick the card for the type of uh, mat and terrain we're going to set up for that game anyway, so we, we won't necessarily draw them, we'll pre-plan it, which you can do obviously. Uh, battlefield effects, last one. Battlefield effects represent the unique challenges offered by the countless different battlefields fought upon by the Titan Legions. Each battlefield effect is a special rule that affects each player equally, forcing battle groups to adopt their tactics in order to secure victory. Okay, so something else there, add a bit of spice to your games. So that would be our game. We'd have a season hold. I've taken Make Them Suffer as a secondary. We've got a Lines of Battle deployment. And we've got extra rules with an Arid World and Radiation. And that would be our game. So uh, let's just have a quick flick through the uh, types of cards we've got. Okay, so we've got the primary objective cards. And there's only six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got Conquest, Acquisition, Death and Destruction. Wrath and Ruin, Choke Point, Season Hold. And these all work around um, taking objectives, 
areas and the board and a bit of destruction as well. So only six of them and that's what both players will be fighting for. Secondary objective cards, so these 12 of these and they're all kinds of different things. You draw two, you pick the one you want to go for and that's your mission. So all kinds of stuff, virulent messenger, expedient strike, make them suffer, preserve the past, secure ground, cut off the head, martial pride, pride and precision, hold the line, plant the standard, seize the quadrants, and honor jewel. So plenty of there to get on with. Deployment maps, so that's pretty straightforward really. So there's nine of these, and uh, these are really cool. Uh, so we've got corner to corner, spear tips, another corner one. These are all really good, something different. I like this one, four corners, another corner, lines of battle, but it's a bit further up. Strength and flank, we've seen that one in the main rules. Uh, another corner one, different sizes. I like the corner ones, but you get an idea of those. Um, brilliant, that really changes it up. Battlefield effects, there are 12 of these that do all sorts of different things to your games. Um, so we've got conflagration, radiation, vox screech, vox ghosts, Bloody Battlefield, Pitch Black, Gases, Unstable Ground, Thick Smog, Mist, Corrosive Haze, and Lightning Storm. And as you can see, like the artwork and the cards are like really, really nice, really good quality. So 12 of those to mix it up. And lastly, Planetary Effects. You can use your imagination for these again. Um, really nice cards. Um, Shattered World, this one's interesting. Um, there is no picture for this one, so I'm going to have to look into that more in more detail. Um, but Arid World, Toxic World, Arctic World, Blighted World, Death World, Hive World, Forge World, Industrial World. And War World, and uh, I'm pretty sure with the stuff we've got we can make up battlefields to uh, feature a lot of those. So there you go, Princeps, just a little overview of what's in the pack. I hope GW make more, they do look really good to me. Um, a nice, easy way to make some good games. Uh, you can take, you know, leave as much as you want with those decks. Um, some nice stuff in there. Um, brief overview, we're going to go into much more detail when we do the bat reps, and you'll see the rules being worked as they come. So that's it from me, it's another SOP. I'll see you in the next video.